Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. So this is going to be a reading right now for Twin Flames in communication. So if you're communicating with your twin, whether that's every day, every other day or every now and again, you know, or even telepathically or, you know, you're feeling you're in, in communication, not separation, this reading is for you. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So the energy around the masculines right now is give me time, I'm still sorting it out. And even though we're not together properly, I know that we are meant to be. That's the energy coming through. And that they have this feeling deep inside of themselves that you belong together and you will always be in each other's lives. And that's about the future union and of what's to come. So we're going to tap in and see what's going on. So I've got a new deck here and this is... Um, the journey into the hidden realm so we're going to use this one it's a tarot deck and we're going to bring in the love notes card and the realms number mercury 2 edition uh, by Lorena Oji tarot so first of all we're going to get the cards up so I do want to do a card for you okay so we're going to get a card for you what you're going through or how you're feeling a card for your person okay so what are they like feeling right now we're going to do a card for what is happening around the connection with you. What's happening around the connection with them. What action you're taking or what will help you. What action they are taking. There we go. And the outcome. Okay. And the outcome. There we go. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to use these two. So what else do we need to know? So I'm going to get one card for each group of cards here okay one card for each group of cards there we go so how are they dealing with it how are you dealing what's going on so you're in communication for you we've got the king of swords wow so you understand that your divine masculine is kind of processing and sometimes they may be in their heads a bit too much and they may be procrastinating working things out so they could be a bit silent Okay, they could be, you know, a bit wary of speaking their truth or even expressing themselves, but they are holding the sword of truth. So it's showing you that they are becoming stronger with how they are getting over to you, how they feel. You know, they're becoming more confident and that's through your light. So when I'm tapping in with this, I'm actually seeing this as you stepping into your power by being you. So you're being authentic. How you're dealing with this right now is being honest and open. You know, you've got the sword of truth there. So you're holding that sword of truth. You're speaking your truth. You're being open to who you are. So I feel Archangel Michael around you, giving you strength, giving you integrity to be your true self. And you're feeling stronger through this. You're becoming very aware, very understanding of everything. You know, you may be going through a few, you know, times where you feel confused or you need some clarity, but ultimately you know, you are powerful and strong. I just feel there may be some confusion because you don't know where you stand. You're not quite sure what's going on, but you have this strength and integrity and this resilience about you that helps you to speak your truth. You know, you're powerful. So you're the one right now in power. And, you know, the air energy around you, you know, you could be an air sign, but I feel this is more about the air of change, you know, change coming in. So there's a lot of changes going on around your connection. For your person, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. So doing a lot of growing up spiritually, but also letting you know on their knees that they are sorry for what's happened in the past and that this will all work out. You know, this is a card that says it doesn't matter how long it takes or what battles we go through, we will get there in the end. And that's currently where your person's energy is. You know, he's kind of showing this to you. He's working hard. He's finding answers. He's holding you know, stone like they're like, um, you know, things in his hands there. So he's got branches or twigs in his hands there. So he's showing you he's finding a solution. You know, he's actually protecting this connection. So when he is quiet with you or a bit, you know, silent with you or distant with you or not really expressing, he's trying to protect you. So the energy around this is you're speaking your truth and being open and honest and becoming stronger from that. You know, you've got angels around you, you are safe. And he is showing you or she is showing you that they are finding a solution. You know, and this journey is protected. And we've also got the shame that eats at me for how I've treated you. So obviously, you know, this, there's all this kind of fear and guilt and pain about how they've treated you. 
but that's made you stronger okay how they've treated you has been lessons for you you know it's grown your soul it's opened you up to your truth and that's what you're realizing through this communication you know, that's why you are in some form of communication, because this is the acceptance of what this journey is. And the energy in today's daily reading is all about this, especially for members. I really picked up on this energy in members that, you know, the masculines are really thinking about the way they've treated the divine feminine. And, you know, it's like he's saying to you, I'm sorry, he's on his knees, he's apologising. You may have even had an apology from him or, you know, he may come forward with one. But he's showing you everything he's done, he's kind of done to grow your soul, to grow his own soul. And it's all working out. So this is a big sign that no matter what's going on, the journey is working out and it will get to where it needs to be. But obviously there's all this pain and shame for how they've treated you. And the shame is, you know, putting the head down, you know, embarrassed about it all, feeling bad about it. And I feel this is also about forgiveness and healing. While well, you've gained strength, I mean, look at this. So, you know, the energy, the connection for you, you've gained strength through this. You know, all the pain, all the shame, all the things they've done and hurt you, you've gained so much strength and you've also gained so much intuition because the wolf is signifying there or symbolizing there your higher consciousness. So this is about you really tapping into the truth of who you are and what this connection is. So, you know, your masculine is, is being your muse, you know, your masculine has been your greatest teacher and still is. So that's the most important thing to know that whatever they've done or not done, it's been your lesson. So you've learned so much strength and psychic awareness and intuitive, like intuitive feelings and intuition. And, you know, this is like you tapping in with your high priestess self, you know, so you've been given everything you need to carry on. And, you know, you would not be given anything that you wouldn't be able to handle. And, you know, God has got you. You are safe. You are surrounded by angels. And for him or her, we've got the fairy stallion. And stallions are very strong, powerful, wild, free horses. You know, stallion, this is about strength, power, becoming the person they were born to be. So they are becoming more powerful through this connection. So what I'm feeling is strength for the divine feminine here and power for the divine masculine. So everything that's happened in, the, in your connection, it's brought power into the connection. You know, your person is saying to you here, I'm on this white horse and I want to come towards you. So this is obviously them moving towards you with more confidence, with bravery and with strength. And the stallion is all about freedom, power, expression, you know, and this is all being done too with a smile. So it feels like your person is feeling a lot stronger and happier and better about being in communication with you. We've also got, I know you can help me. So your person is saying, here, you know, I know that you can help me. I know that you are the light. I know that you inspire me. You know, I know you can help me to overcome fear. I know you can help me to understand and you can help me change my life. So, you know, you have a mission together and your person knows this. That's why you're in communication. So even at times, if they hold things back or they go quiet or whatever they do, they know in their heart and soul that you can help them, you know, become who they're meant to be, that you can help them be a better person and that you help them in general to be who they are. You know, you bring out the good side and the good things in them. So the action that you're taking or what will help you is the seven of pentacles. Wow. So the seven of pentacles is intention, prayer, you know, meditation, asking for what you want, nurturing the connection. And they show me this lady is pregnant. OK, so this is remembering it's, it's all baking. You know, this is a baking time. It's a preparation time. So it's about not rushing it, allowing it. And, you know, I speak about baking a cake and you know what that means connected with the journey so you know you've got your journey and you want a union that's what you want you want to be together but for that to happen it has to happen in divine time just like when you put a cake mix in a bowl and you mix it all up you put your intention in there everything you want all the feelings and emotion are in there and then you put it in the tin and you put it in the oven and you allow it the time to bake you don't rush it you know you don't keep opening the oven and checking it you just trust that the oven is going to bake that cake. And this is you trusting that the universe is going to create this union, okay, and help behind the scenes. So 
I feel this is what's going to help you is asking prayer. You know, when you go through any bad times or any fear, or any doubt or any illusion, that's when you call on heaven. You know, that's when you ask for what you want. You believe, you set your intention, you trust the journey because it's baking. You know, it's being prepared, it's being reborn, it's happening. So this is what you can do. So the action the angels are asking you to take right now is to just trust the journey and to let go and breathe and to ask and any fear you go through, pray, speak to heaven, write things down, gratitude, meditation, spending time outdoors. So the action or what your masculine is letting you know as well, look at this, they're doing the work. We've got the eight of pentacles and I love how we've got the seven and eight, okay? Because seven is about manifestation and eight is about things happening, riches, infinite being, possibilities, magic. So this here is the masculine saying to you, I'm taking action because there's a lot of fire in this card and he's showing you he's stepping up. Look how powerful he is. You know, he's showing his chest off there. So he's bearing his chest and we've got the stallion, remember? So this is also about feeling good. Whoa, whoa, you know, raw power, focus, determination, putting the energy in, working on the connection, being able to communicate with you, wanting to communicate with you, wanting to reach out to you. Even if he's holding things back, he's showing you, he's putting the effort in. So the angel's saying, this is what he's doing. He's taking action. He's putting the effort in. He's feeling fiery about this connection. He feels he wants to make this happen. You know, he's feeling good about it, but he does feel fear too. You know, the fire are also the flames of fear. So remember, he's still working through fears. He's still walking through his own fears or working through his fears. I fear, look at this, I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. So the fear, so obviously he's taking action towards you and that's why you're in communication. But the reason he holds things back and he's afraid of kind of taking the next steps is he doesn't want to let you down. He doesn't want to have a failed relationship. You know, he, he wants it with you. He wants it all with you. And you don't want this either. You don't want another failed relationship. You know, you don't want another separation or more pain. So this is about taking it, it slowly. You know, it's in divine time, allowing it the time it's taking. Trust that he's doing his work. And a bird just landed outside the house. So birds are connected with freedom. Give him the freedom he needs. You know, don't force him to reply or respond or make something happen. Just allow it all to be. You know, if he isn't replying to your message, he's still showing you he's doing the work. Don't bombard him with more messages. Just let him respond in time. Let him message you. Give him his freedom. And we've got the outcome. Wow, with the world. The outcome is the world. Okay, which means it's happening now in 2021. It will all be healed. You know, there's a lot of passion and fire between you. Everything is coming together. Desire, passion, power. And we've got don't ever change who you are. Wow. Don't ever change who you are. So the outcome is you don't need to change. Don't ever change who you are, be you. And everything else will fall into place because it's happening now. So that's what's happening when you're in communication, no matter what is going on, the love is real. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.